everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Space Rogue. So for those of you that are watching this live, the previous run died horribly. In fire, on fire, so I started over. We're pretty much where we were, but different weapons. Different, less good weapons, which is kind of the shitty part of things. Oh, <laughs> hey bird. Bird is still here, playing Agario, of all things. Okay, well, that is a fun game. Honestly, like, I, re I really like... I, I like clever games. And, like, if you haven't... Oh, hello. Exiting this bar on a space station, you see a woman with a crazy look in her eye and a hologram of a young man in her hands. Has anyone seen my son? Ask what happened. The woman tells you that she's looking for a son. He used to work on the station, but left to seek his fortune in other places. Since then, she's had no news of him. All right, let's, uh, let's go find him. And she points at a pirate sector. Oh, that is not gonna... That's not gonna go well, well for us. Okay, let's... Let's check the galactic map. Oh, it's right here. So we got an SOS and we've got the uh, Jonas, which is probably where it... This is not a pirate sector. All right, so we're near the pirate base. Let's see. Ship flies out of the base. You weren't sent by my mother by any chance, were you? I'm sick of her morals already. Ship is opening fire. Okay. Uh, let's see what kind of weapons you got. Oh, you don't have shit. Let's just nuke what he's got. And then nuke everything else. I don't know why, but my third gun doesn't fire until the first loop through, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't even know. Okay. Wow, that is effective. It's very... Oh, you know what? I don't have auto fire on. My missile... Did I, did I miss with the missile? I must have. Well, whatever. Yeah, the mission does change with every run. I've noticed that too. In fact, I think I showed that off pretty well. On the first episode. I actually like how it keeps changing. And we have blown the sun the hell up. I feel kind of bad about that. It's like, hey lady, I'm going to go find your son. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry, your son's dead. Uh, turns out he was evil. Okay, well, let's run into a trap. Save the drill. Use those rocks. More credits. Yay. Small amounts of titanium. Actually, it's just enough. Can I upgrade anything? Shield system, level two. Yes. Okay, so now we got level three shields. Probably looking to getting a higher level uh, module use for the time being. Uh, but yeah, this, this is very FTL-like. In fact, it's so FTL-like. Oh, first class deck. So I did first class last time. Let's try third class. Alright, so. Fun fact. Always save the rich people in this game because the poor people blow your ship up. That's just kind of shitty. Okay, well, let's see what I get. I kind of wish you could keep going this, like you didn't have limited drills. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Let's see, Sh ship looks like an old muscle car. Yeah, I don't disagree. So let's see if I can get a better... Let's see if I can get a better weapon here. The answer is no. Well, sort of. Yes, actually. We can get the prototype blaster, which is way better than the, than the basic laser. So let's switch this shit out. Perfect. Might as well sell it while well, we're here. Hey, we could actually buy another engineer. We are actually kind of down one because I sacrificed him. It's tempting, but at the same time, we're just we're just looking for better weapons here. Oh right, I forgot. Like half of my crew is dead. You know what? Let's buy another engineer for the time being. It'll be pretty bad if everything gets set on fire and like bad things bad things are gonna work out. Yes, it is punching time. It is always punching time. I can punch things in space. It is my right. All right, and robots are going to harvest for resources. That is just kind of disconcerting. Let's see if I can nuke his. All right. We just totally missed. Yeah, for whatever, wow. Holy shit, that is effective. I'm glad we replaced our basic laser. It takes forever to charge up, but I don't care. It is effective. All right, fire your shit. You know what? Let's turn on auto fire. There's no reason why not to at this point, since our laser can actually just plonk straight through. Uh, I can just plonk straight through shields. Okay, he's going to die fast, and we get another prototype blaster. You know what? Let's uh, let's go to ship. Let's replace the the scatter shop with another prototype blaster. This is probably not going to work out well for me. Wow, switching to this game dropped me by uh, eight viewers. Meh. Who cares? Right, four titanium. Oh, hello. Uh, an unstable titanium. And lost 19 credits. Well, whatever. We we made five. See, now we're actually doing fairly well. Let's see. 
still no good guns in any of the shops. Oh, shoot. There's there's a planet that we missed there. Alright. And it's the dangerous war criminal. Let's blow him up. Okay. Oh, right. We haven't taken any damage here. Okay, so this time around, we're going to aim at the ship. So now, now that we've got all of this... Let's boost... Oh, shoot. How effective was that? Well, we took out his shields at the very least, and we hurt his weapons pretty hard. So this is perfect. Oh, and we're in an asteroid field. Oh, he might blow up within the next, like, 5 to 10 seconds. I'm just gonna let... Watch this happen. Because he's trying to fix the weapons. Bye, dingus. Yeah, no, the, the prototype blasters are amazing. And... Bakarava is ready for level up. I don't even know. Okay. Unstable Tritanium. Trap. Useless rocks. And... 12 credits. Alright, so that was a bit of a wash. Lost 18 in total. Because, like, you, you find reward credits down on the surface, except for a fun fact. Oh, hey, lottery. What did I get? 73 credits. Yay. Uh, it cost 20, 20 credits just to be able to go, go down and mine, which is kind of a shame. Oh, well. Could be worse. Let's see. Credit, treasure with credits in it. Treasure. Nope, nope. And rocks. Rocks and tritanium. That was a complete wash. Well, it only cost me seven, so that's not so bad. Let's see, I was listening to, uh, well, I was, I was watching the credits. Well, the credits. No, I was, I was looking at the comments on, I think, one of the last episodes for Space Rogue I put up, and somebody was asking the question of, like, do, do random events actually regenerate? Because the person was running into like issues getting enough tritanium and, um, and just credits in general. Like, none of the events, as far as I can tell in this game, actually regenerate along the way, which actually feels kind of, I'm gonna say kind of criminal to me. Let's go systems. Uh, we don't really care about life support for the time being. So why don't we do one into engines? How much does that increase our evasion by? Only two. Ugh. Okay. And main computer. Does that give me another slot? Nope, just one more energy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get more tritanium to get to the next one. It's not the end of the world. Um... Let's see, and somebody's attacking me. But it does actually feel kind of unfortunate in this game that you can't keep generating for new events, because I, I can see how this game will eventually outpace itself, in a way. Interesting, yeah, that third slot does not shoot. Or it does, it just, okay. The third slot did, oh, hey, and we get another engineer. Nice. Um, But I, I can see how the game's difficulty would actually like, outpace you along the way. Uh, let's see, try and catch the drone. And we get... Well, we just got an engineer. She just died. Okay. I, <laughs> I feel like this... Like, this is part of the reason why I don't ever bother leveling up my crew here. Because they just keep randomly dying, or I kill them off. Well, that was garbage. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like the random in this game is incredibly punishing in a way. It, it feels like this game was developed by people that know how to make a game or they know how to program. They know how to make something functional, but they're not entirely sure how to make things fun, if that makes sense. Like, um, ooh, okay, that works for me. Like, um, it's, it's kind of like, it, it feels like, you know what, you know what this game feels like? It feels like it was programmed by people that made, that make gambling software. Really? Does not give me any extra slots. That kind of sucks. Um, you know, kind of making things unbalanced against the players to kind of punish them, set them back in a lot of ways. But, um... Let's see. TB's famous quote is, instead of pushing F to feel, this game puts you in situations where your emotions... Oh, I see. This is War of Mine. I do feel like that quote kind of works with this one. Like, instead of... Oh, shoot. We've got an invader. Okay, fine. Instead of, you know, putting you into a situation where you're actually playing the game to, like, overcome challenges, the cha the only challenge is, like, moving from place to place in a semi-efficient manner. Um, You are too busy doing repair... Oh. No, you're not the one I'm trying to move here. There we go. Oh, shoot. What? I repaired that room. 
Okay, well, all hands are on deck. Are you actually even going to... Oh, he has to be in the spot, otherwise it doesn't work. Move to the med bay. Move to the med... Move to the med bay. What? I don't understand. Well, let's just blow him out. Why can you not go inside the med bay? Check the wreckage. Hey, we got a small laser. It doesn't even matter. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad bug. Alright, so if you look at my med bay, there are two slots in it. But I can't walk... I can't walk into this room. Why? Because that's where the corpse of one of my previous crew members is. The guy I sacrificed is still in there, taking up space, because the game did not quite process him as dying. So he's still there. But unfortunately, you can only send one person in the med bay now. Oh, that is just utter crap. What is this game? It is Space Rogue. Released on Steam a couple days ago to effectively eh, and this is an FTL clone. It really does feel kind of like FTL with a... Uh... Let's see, well, I've got the credits. Let's try this. I wonder what happens if you paid more. Don't even know. But, um... Well, effectively, we've got a haunted med bay. Wow, that is probably the best mining hall I've ever gotten. Okay, well, whatever. Let's start... I don't really need... Actually, you know what? We need to upgrade the medical station at this point. Why? Because if it's only going to have... If it's only going to have two slots in... One slot in it, then we're going to need it to, to heal people pretty quick. Because we might actually run into some issues here. Maybe if somebody invades my ship, I won't have to worry about it. And our O2 system is on fire. This is dumb. Can I not? What the deuce? What's that fire in the... I feel like everything is broken. And I don't like it. Well, I guess you guys get over here. Oh, because it... Oh, that is also kind of garbage. So, fun fact about this. Um, this this module, Emergency Repair, patches hull breaches, puts out fires, and repairs 30 damage in selected bay. Only works on rooms, on bay rooms. Okay, good. I thought for a second we were in trouble. Alright, so... You guys slowly get over here. Well, this is... This is rough. At least we've got better healing now. Yeah, upgrading it was a good good choice for this situation. But, oh man. And there's no way... There's no way of fixing this. But... I, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that they can, uh... I'm hoping they, they can fix a lot of these kind of glaring issues. Unfortunately, the game hasn't even been patched once yet. But then again, it, uh, it effectively released on Steam on, what, like, Thursday? And then... It released on Thursday, and then the developers effectively went quiet. Um, and I'm... I'm... Shoot. It releases on Thursday, and I... I'm... Ex uh... I'm assuming that they kind of went out for the weekend, or they're quickly trying to patch the game. Did I get it? You know what? Fuck it. Let's just fire the big stuff. Yeah, so it doesn't actually show the animation. But it does go. And he uses Faint. Faint has way too short of a cooldown. I don't I don't think it's particularly fair. So 25% dodge chances. Rough business. Everybody in the computer room. The fuck? Alright. You know what? I'm just... Oh, they're trying to go to the med bay. They're broken. Alright. But so am I. Uh-oh. Hmm. You know, if I was playing an online game, I would, I would be operating under the assumption that the, the game has uh, lagged out or something, and I just have to reconnect. Well, 
Well, let's try saving. Let's see what, what happens when I... Okay. Let's try exiting, re-entering. Where does this drop me? Please don't be still bugged. Alright. Oh, shoot. It looks like it drops us to the beginning of combat. Or it quickly plays catch up. Okay, fine. Let's just nuke his shit. Looks like his people are currently bu- Uh... Well, that's interesting. Oh, right, because he's got faint running. Well, that was garbage. Interesting, he's bypassing my shields here. wonder why. Well, as long as he doesn't faint... That's going to get really annoying really fast. Alright, so now he's invaded me. Okay, we've taken out his computers. And now, now he's distracted. Okay, good. So now there's no way he's going to be able to oppose me. And all of his all of his stuff is broken. So here's the question. I was going to kill him first. My guns? Or... Oh, right. I've got auto fire. Ah, you are dying. Let's get you out of there. Here's the question. Oh, sweet. We fixed the med bay. Sort of. Oh, looks like my guns are going to kill him. They're using super secret glitch technology. Well, looks like we... Uh, okay, good. Looks like we have overcome the glitch problems and can continue on. So I'm probably going to want to stop at the space base before we go anywhere. Have we, have we cleared out the sector? It looks like it. Okay, so let's stop by the... Uh, is this military ba base Fury or Furry? It does not say. Alright, whatever. Let's repair. Let's recruit another guy. Because at this point it doesn't seem like I'm going to be spending any of my money anytime soon and or I'm just going to be wildly, wildly wealthy. So let's take a look at the map. Alright, so we're, we're going to want to take the uh, the space beacon down south. I know south <laughs> there are no no cardinal directions in space, but right now uh, it works. Uh, and it's that quest again. Well, this is dumb. If it's giving me the same quest twice, it's like have you has anybody seen my son? And then we have to go blow the hell out of him. Oh, hey. Actually happy ending that time around. He actually went back. Oh, night bird. Have a good one. And we've lost our drone. But we do get some stuff from it. And somebody levels up. Perfect. Okay. Oh, also, good night's rice. Uh, bird, before you go, tell me if you want to do stuff tomorrow, because I am down to clown with more recordings. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone see my son? We have to go blow the hell out of him. You know, in retrospect, the wording on that sounds pretty garbage. And... Hull breach. Yeah. Hey. Okay, whatever. Blow jobs for everybody. I'm not... No, I'm not going here. I'm not even... No, well, th thanks, game. Thanks. Oh, hey! I didn't actually realize this, but if I go to the ship menu, it actually tells me how much... Uh, nope. How much shield potential I have. Okay. So we've got an intruder on board. We do have this military man now. Attack a military man. I don't even know if he's going to do that or not. But that said, you know what? I can just fire these. Like, who cares if we can't take out their shields? My, my blasters do, do way more... Like, more than enough damage. Oh, shoot. That person's actually competent at fighting. Slightly less competent than me, but still. Perfect. Okay, uh, would this be pre-stream or main show? Don't care. Ooh, we got stealth. Okay. And more Tritanium. Why did I vocalize what people were thinking? Because I have to- I have to recognize when I've said a dumb thing. Alright. What the- oh, it's paused. Alright, so let's send you back to the med bay. Let's get you out of here. Uh, let's see. Looks like the current distribution of units is pretty good. Has he de-stealthed yet? No. So what we're, we're going to want to do, send a missile straight into that, and then just rock everything else. Perfect. No more stealth for you, buddy. His weapons are still functional, but it's okay. It's not going to do, do him any good. All right. And seeing as he's not repairing anything, everybody focus fire this room. I'll wait until both of those fire. There we go. Ooh, I did a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, no... Bird, you get to pick what we do tomorrow. I do not care. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. Vanga! Vanga, what do you got? Vanga got junk. 
I do kind of wish there was like more interactivity with the planets in this game. He's got that weird mind control business. Well, luckily I can just punch straight through his shields half the time here. Oh shoot. I don't, when did he knock out my oxygen? No idea when that happened. We might as well, oh, he's got missiles, duh. And take a bribe, no, decline the bribe. Murder him to death. I know it's, oh shoot. Is there anything on fire over there? Yep, something was on fire, because there he goes. Okay, scan wreckage. Except for the captain. I guess the captain is the the character to to repeatedly level up here. Firefight, repair, breach, repair. Because, actually, we just got a... Duh. Who the hell are you? Is he... He's been with me this entire time, right? I have no idea. I, he must be. But, like, with the chances that you just lose crew members left and right. So we just randomly take damage. They blew up our oxygen. What a dick. Let's fix this quick. Oh, they also blew up our engines. Damn it. It, it, it still kind of loops back on that hole of just, like, punishing you for no good reason. Alright, you need to get out of there before you just suffocate. This is just sad. You'd think these guys would have, like, spray goo or something that's just like, shit, there's a hole in our... There's a hole in our space car. Should probably actually get out of there so we're not just... dying. I don't even know. Whatever. You back on weapons for the time being. I wonder if you can actually operate the med bay so it does more. No clue. Okay. So let's see. Let's keep looping around. I really want to find a space base that actually has some, like, higher level... Oh shoot, there's mining at that last place and I just completely ignored it. Then again, we've been doing fairly well on the mining front, so I'm not terribly worried about uh, lacking Tritanium. I'm not really sure about how you lose credits to a trap in this game, actually. Well, let's go back to Furious. I can't mine you, right? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, it's difficulty 7, which never pretty. Oh! Okay, apparently this person does not like me doing any minor minor 49ing. I'll just blow up his weapons. Actually, we're doing this. Might be able to... Nope, didn't... Oh, he is almost dead. Enemy is trying to flee. Let's take a look at you. Shit on fire? Shit is not on fire. Shit is not looking good over there. Everything on weapons! You're going to die. It's going to be sad. For you, not me. I, I honestly could care less. Do I get a reward? I don't even get a reward. Well, this is dumb. This is super dumb. <sighs> not only do I not get to mine, but I get shot at as well. Oh, well, I didn't take too much damage for that, so that's not terrible. Let's see. So they can keep working on it. Let's go to As Astoth. Astoth? I don't even know. Buy information. Hey, might as well. Do you know what? If I could actually buy some good weapons, that'd, that'd be a happy, happy day. Either that or we can blow them up. Before we go there, probably want to have a lot of money. I have no idea if it scales based on anything. Credits, unstable Tritanium, and we get one. Eh, I mean, as long as we get one Tritanium, it is worth it to mine. Especially because we're going to get a little bit more. Unfortunately, I need to get up to 15. Open the hatch. Kill one of my crew. Catch was destroyed. Just lost. See, this is why I don't bother leveling anybody up except for the captain, because the captain doesn't go anywhere, so it's guaranteed that you're not going to lose him along the way. Whereas, like, everybody else just randomly dies left and right. It, like, we redshirt the hell out of this game. Uh, and it gets a little bit annoying, because it's just like, I, there's no gameplay. There's no, like, chance of me succeeding or failing. At least give me a choice of, like, how we do... Yeah, no, there's, there's some hull damage. Uh, we don't get a choice with, like, anything that ever seems to happen in this game. It's just like, duh. Whoa, hello. Lottery ticket. Seer. Jackson Warrior. Trading stalls. Crew repair kit. Container of Tritanium. Can I not do any of these? Let's take a look at the repair kit. Is that just... Wow. 
What the fuck? Really? Oh, that is just terrible. Okay, well, team scout it. Let me get some credits. All right, so I just spent 150 credits to repair my ship for like 14 points of damage. Now, mind you, if this was normal, that would have been like 40, 40 credits, maybe 67, something like that. That's just what I. Hmm. Who designed this game? Uh, like, the problem is, like, I want to be really positive about this because it shows promise, but just, like, whomever designed all of these random events is kind of an asshole. Uh, right, yeah, we lost we lost our better military guy. Uh, well, let's just blow him up the rest of the way. Yeah, he ain't going to be coming back from that one. Okay, you know what? I should probably actually send somebody to help him. Doesn't matter. Oh, he dies. Like, the combat is fairly smooth for the most part. But it does grump me out pretty hard that we keep running into these honestly comically stupidly, like, poorly balanced things. Like, if you're going to buy the repair kit, you go to the market stall, spend, like, a crazy amount of money on effectively worthless stuff at least have it be slightly cheaper, because otherwise it's just like, why the hell would I even go to any of these things anymore? Like, to repair my hull, the next, the last, like, th what, 30 damage? Yeah, it's it's pretty much a one for one. Okay, well, let's sell the swarm pod. Let's sell the small laser. Let's see. We don't get any more slots, so that's annoying. Okay, so I still don't know where that weapon is dude is. Maybe it's further down this direction. It's probably in a different sector, honestly. Okay, well, at least I'm destroying him pretty pretty effectively. Um, it was actually kind of interesting. Let's take out the shields first, if I can. Perfect. Because I might as well actually maximize this one. Might kill him. Nope, almost killed him. Really? Oh, damage dealt to the system. It doesn't actually increase hull damage. Okay, so you only want to do that if you want to disable the thing. Oh, good night, Jerwolf. Have a good one. But, uh, so I was talking to Blitz Kriegsler a little bit about this, and as far as I can tell, Blitz Kriegsler is the only other person that has even bothered to cover this game at this point in time. Uh, which doesn't surprise me too much. It really did release... Demand you give us one of your crew members. What? Why? Like, why is that even an option? Why is that the primary option that looks like the good option? I don't know. All right, you know what? Let's focus for that. He's got psionic attack. I probably don't care. Let's just kind of wipe him out from here. It does look like a, having a like having a higher tier captain is actually making it so our weapons recharge pretty quickly here. Nope, never mind. It's just a trick of the mind. But, so I was talking to Blitzkriegsler a little bit, and he just sent me, like, a very short message about this game, being like, So, when playing this, was, like, everything just grossly unfair? Yep. So it looks like we're going over here. Now, are all of these Tier 1? They are all Tier 1 districts. Weird. Alright. Oh, that's why we haven't found any good weapons. Interesting. I'm curious about how that's going to factor in. Uh, to, like, the end game. If we're just going to be like this the entire way. An unknown bounty... Colonists tell you that an unknown bounty hunter has been terrorizing them. He's been trying to find out your route. So they're terror... Oh, I see. Well, let's give the position. An attack and return. Like, who cares about the Bounty Hunter? This guy's going to be comically easy to fight. Yeah, he has a piercer, but who cares? He does have missiles, admittedly. Well, let's just focus fire him for the time being. Make sure that his weapons are just completely done for. There we go. Oh yeah, he's not coming back from that one. I do think... You know what? I think I'm absolutely going to get rid of focus fire on the next round. I'm going to replace it with something a little bit more powerful. Or not powerful, a little bit more useful. Either stealth or more likely... Uh, reload. Okay, fast reload. 
because the extra system damage would be useful if I was using something that actually benefited from it. But I don't. Because this way, I can do... Reload. I can just fire off a salvo really quickly. Like, right off the bat. And... Apparently does not actually change that much. Anything at all, really. I have some ser severe questions about this game's balancing and choices. Hopefully they fix all of them. Hopefully they do. If they don't, I have no... Well, no. Drone crashed. Drone always crashes. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, hey, buy the weaponry. I can afford it. So what do we get? We get some missiles. Which isn't really useful, because I've already got missiles, and honestly, I like the prototype blasters a little bit better. I think they're a little bit slower. But they do more damage overall. Well, that is garbage. Okay, let's just, let's just keep going. Um, clearing the sector. is. I feel like playing custom right now is actually not doing me a whole lot of favors. Which is kind of a shame. Like, I, I really want the... Uh... Well, this is not going to go well for him. So the reloader doesn't seem to do anything. I'm noticing the, the captain being there. Oh, no. No. No, there's... Wait, hold on. Let's go to Tratus. I gotta check this. We're probably gonna fight something else. Yep. Oh, shoot. The reloader. Reloader's off cooldown. Okay, perfect. So let's let time go. He's off of that. And here's the question. Oh, it's still 12 seconds. Wait, hold. What? Hold phone. Well, that's bad. His ship disappeared. But not in the usual way. Okay, well, let's just load back in. Where does this put us? Why is our frame rate 8? Well, that's not good. This is all. This is super not good. Alright, you know what? We've been doing this for half an hour, have we? I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna see if I can fix this first. Please don't be frame rate of 8. Well, this is even worse than I expect. Are you kidding me? Alright, so let's take a look at the map and I'll explain what just happened. We've been teleported to the very, very end sector of the game. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But that's the end of it. Uh, that's the end of this run. Wow. Every single episode has either ended up in death because of stupidity or death because of question mark? In this case, we seriously done fucked up, and I have no idea why. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of Space Rogue, which probably might not be for a day or two. Because I want to see if they actually patch this game first. Because right now... It's not, uh... Not super functional. And I feel like they need to do a little bit of something. Something. Yeah, it's the Vagabots' homeworld. Mmm. Mmm. The salt is real. The salt is so fucking real right now. Oh, well. It's fun. Just wish it worked and was a little bit better balanced. Don't even know.